Hello dear ones, it's Alice, I'm of the stars. Here's another nuts and bolts video for you with regard to a topic that came up on the, the plane of paranoia in the last solar cycle. It's coming up again and it has to do with nanobots that are manufactured in the Orient and are illegal in the United States and which are said to cause the ability to mind control people through gut brain activity if they're swallowed, if they're by mistake swallowed, that other people can mind control the person who has the nanobot. Okay, so believing something like this can lead to a great deal of anxiety and also to acting out behaviors if a person thinks that they are controlled by other people and, uh, and that they, they have no options, that they have no free will. And that is because one of the important rules of life on earth is that everyone has free will. And the other rule, of course, has to do with the all and selfless service for the all and doing our best to get along with everybody and to work towards the common good for all people. So the two rules of life on earth are that we all have free will and that we all take in consideration all other beings on earth. Okay, so when somebody comes up with a, uh, a paranoid theory a, a, that objects to these two rules, a lot of people deep in their soul say, no, it can't be true, but somehow uh, somehow someone convinces them that it could be true. And that's what this nanobot theory is about, okay? Now, I don't believe this stuff, okay? I'd like you to know I really think that it's not true. But there may be people that, that firmly believe that it's a possibility. And that's why I'm giving this video today is to offer some, some relief to the concerns that people have that such things could exist in this dimension. Okay, so one of the things I suggest from a light worker standpoint, not that I have any technical expertise in it, is uh, to try buying those little ma magnets that you can get from Amazon.com. Just the type of small magnet about the size of a quarter. You know, you can carry it in your pocket or in your wallet just in case for emergencies and if you feel that you're hearing things through your astral ears that you don't want to hear you can try passing the magnets around the field of your ears the auric field of your ears a time or two don't insert them into your ears that would be very bad news but just the presence of the magnetic field there can clear the auric ears the ears of the aura and if you feel that, that there are nanobots stuck in your ears, for instance, in case that's come up, that's a pretty scary nightmare. So by holding the, the small magnet close to your ear without sticking it into your ear canal, because that could, that could cause deafness, okay? So just holding it flat close to your ear can, can create sounds in your ear that, that if you really believe about nanobots, it could result in a popping sound, an electronic sound of some tiny semiconductor uh, giving up the ghost there, and that, and that then might result in no more sounds in that ear. So I'm suggesting magnets. A lot of people say that magnets are good for health and so it shouldn't injure your health. If you feel that you've ingested an antibody and that it's lodged somewhere, say in be the connection between your small intestine and your large intestine because there's a constriction there, you can lie down past the magnet time and again over the affected area and you may hear the same disintegration sound either through imagination or through the real world. There's one other thing I have to say about about these nanobots, these putative, that means we think that they're there sometimes but maybe they're not there 
or maybe they exist in the twilight zone between the astral realm and the physical realm, the way the many electronic devices seem to do. Belief in nanobots might have to do with our passage from the third dimension into the fourth dimension and on, ascending on into the fifth dimension. It might be a, a good sign. We might be detecting, for instance, malware in our energy field that we conceive of as nanobots. And malware is much more easily disposed of than these very tricky devices that are said to be produced illegally in the Orient, maybe in the South China Seas. So they say, I guess it's movie material. So, okay, I have another thought about it. Some people say that these nanobots are made of some kind of plastic, and other people say that they might have some kind of metal components in them. If they have metal in them, and if you have had occasion since when you thought you, uh, you acquired this nanobot, to, between then and now, if you've had an x-ray, then, then the likelihood would be that if there's metal in the nanobot, then it would have been uh, melted by the x-ray. If nothing super bad happened during the x-ray, then likely you don't have that nanobot. Okay, so the last possibility I have for you is, okay, suppose it's you ate something with a nanobot in it, you think, okay, I'm not agreeing to this, okay, but but these ideas can be very pressingly urgent, and so I'm responding to it, okay? Okay, so let's say you think you may have eaten a nanobot or worse yet, a number of nanobots, okay? And they, they went down into your digestive tract, and for instance, you're feeling someone is mind-controlling you through your heaven for fend, through your sex drive, which seems to be hyperactive right now, and that the reason for that might be the nanobot, okay, or a flood of nanobots. I'm suggesting no matter what they're made of, whether it's metal or whether it's plastic, that if they're in your GI tract, it would be pretty easy to send them on their way and out of you by, by doing a fast, the kind of fast that purges your GI tract. And you can find the the right ingredients for that at your local pharmacy. Just ask the pharmacist. Likely it's just over the counter. Okay, so so here are the three um, things that for peace of mind you could try just in case you think there's a chance that you don't have astral malware, you actually have physical nanobots inside you. Okay, you can try with the magnet on the ears or over the a connecting place between the small intestine and the large intestine down in your gut, or wherever else you think they may be lodged. Some people think they're lodged in their hearts. And there is a great deal of malware, astral malware, not nanobot malware in the heart, so there might be a cause for their thinking that. So you could try with the magnet around your heart, a small magnet. If you've used the, the purge uh, that's available from your pharmacy to purge your GI tract, you can also dislodge all that and send it on its way out of your, out of your energy field completely. Okay, so I myself think that it's best to, to feel that we have free will and that we can change our energy field anytime we want, you know. And if we are not able to, then we can try optimizing. And optimization is a request to our Ascension team to optimize our timelines and dimensions. And it goes like this. Spirit to team, optimize timelines and dimensions for the all through free will. I'll say it again. Spirit to team, optimize timelines and dimensions for the all through free will. That's it. You only have to say it a time or two. Three max. And you'll notice that at the end of the optimization, it lists the two principles of life on earth, the all and free will, which, which I talked about at the beginning of this video. Okay, so if you have any questions about nanobots, 
whatever you do, don't go to a psychiatrist or a psychologist or to a psychiatric hospital because they'll just tell you you're crazy, okay? And they'll take, they'll offer you meds. It'll cost you a lot in talk therapy, <laughs> okay? It's better to just resolve the issue yourself, I feel. If you've requested uh, nanobots that you want to use to control somebody else, some enemy of yours, and somebody sends you a little box. It didn't happen to me. I heard about it on the astral plane 11 years ago. If somebody sends you a little box with a little lever on it and says, every time you push this le lever, that other person will be commanded by you through mind control and the nanobots, okay? And if they say, if you open this box, there's a bomb inside of it, it'll blow up you and everybody in your house, okay? Go ahead and open the box because there's nothing in there. It's just a con game, okay? Ah, uh, and so if you know someone who got that box and you haven't talked to them about it, call them up and talk to them and ask them if they open the box. <laughs> I, I know that a lot of people feel this is really funny, but I'm responding to the anxiety some people feel. Quite a few people who have this, this apocalyptic, paranoid point of view. And, and I'm hoping that this will help. I, I, I'm tempted to, to go that way. That's why I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at you. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars, and so are you. And may there be no nanobots, either in your past or in your present or in your future. My website is Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. Come and visit me there.